Hi everyone, this is Ata Khapaz and here in this video we are going to simulate a creep phenomenon using a dumbbell shape specimen. Uh, as you can see the size and the dimension of this dumbbell shape in the figure. Uh, also because of the symmetry uh, feature of this uh, structure, uh, it's better to simulate only one force of uh, this model. Uh, for the creep simulation, first we have to statically analyze the model. So here uh, we start the static analyzers using 4 megapascal stress across the across the x axis and after then data we analyze the creep phenomenon after 1000 seconds also uh, i also i have written the apdl code of this ex uh, example and i will share it uh, in the description part of uh, this video then you can use it by your own uh, so first uh, we have to uh, select the element type uh, then choose element type add edit delete and uh, click on add you have to choose a structural solid uh, name 182 element type uh, then click on ok go to the option part here it's better to choose reduce integration because the the creep nonlinearities, and also uh, be sure that uh, you choose the element behavior like this plain stress. Click on OK and close this uh, window as well. Then uh, go to the material property and material models. In the material model window, you first go to the structural linear elastic and isotropic to determine the elastic properties of the material here uh, for the young modulus we enter 22 32 megapascals uh, as the material behavior and also 0 0.4 uh, for Poisson ratio for more uh, information uh, this is the uh, behavior of uh, an epoxy adhesive uh, that I have used it uh, in uh, one of my uh, papers here. You can see the title. The material is uh, the adhes epoxy adhesive uh, and the name is Oral Diet 2011. Okay, after inserting the Young models and Poisson ratio. Click on OK, and and now it's time to uh, choose and determine the creep constant amounts. So go to the nonlinear, and here in elastic rate dependent creep, creep only, Mises potential, and implicit. Uh, here you can see. Uh, ANSYS has 13 different models of the creep phenomenon. We choose the time hardening one, but for your information, I click on help and it goes to the documentary of the ANSYS. Uh, you can search here for creep to find out uh, what is the creep equation. So click here. Here you can find out uh, uh, ANSYS has 13 different models of the uh, creep equations. Uh, and we choose this one, time hardening one. It has C1, C2, C3, and C4 creep constants and uh, we already had uh, another 
video related to how to determine these uh, constants. Uh, you, if you're interested, you can go and find it on my YouTube channel. But here, I only enter these amounts. As you can see here, C1 is 0 0.999235E minus 6. C2 is 2.87. C3 is minus 0 0.4277. And also C4 is 0. Click on OK and close this window. Here I'm not going to teach you how to model uh, in ANSYS. Then I only copy the modeling part of the code until the final of mesh okay i copy this and paste these comments on the command bar and push enter okay you can see the model uh, inserted here so it's time to loading Then click on load, define load, apply structural, go to displacement and symmetric boundary condition and online. Choose these lines because these are the symmetric lines. Click on OK and uh, you can see here the symmetric boundary condition is applied for these two lines. Also, you have to go to the pressure online and then choose this line to apply the constant stress, which equals to 4 megapascal, minus 4 megapascal. Okay, you can see the load applied here. Okay, the, uh, now everything is ready to go to the solution part uh, and analyze this type, select the static, okay. Now go to the solution control and set a very short amount of time, for example, 1E minus 6 here and click on OK and go to the solution solve and current LS. Close this window and click on OK. OK. Close this one. Now uh, the static analysis is done. And now we have to go to the next level which is the creep analysis. Uh, then we go to the analysis type and click on solution control. Now uh, you have to set it on 1000 and here change it to the time increment and set it to 0 0.1 to the time step size and minimum is 0 0.001 and the maximum 5 and here change the frequency to write every sub step now we have to go to the nonlinearity and tick on the creep options okay also, you can find all of these uh, options in the loading. As you can see, I add the loading here. And also, creep control that is 
that is related to the time. Okay. Now I go to the solve and current ls to solve the creep analysis. Click on OK. You can see the time. It is not a very time consuming analysis. And it's done. Okay. To see the result, we go to the general post processor, and here you can plot results using counter plot and node solution. Um, choose the stress, for example. Momizes, okay. Okay, you can see the stress pattern of uh, the dumbbell shape after 1000 seconds uh, it's uh, uh, in the maximum amount is 8 is around 8 megapascals here uh, however you can check how much it was in the beginning after the static analysis then click on read results and first set click on dynamic mode and only one click it goes to the first time the first set time which it, which is the static analysis time uh, on the beginning of uh, the static analysis uh, the amount of stress uh, was 8.65 and in the last set on the time of 1000 it reduces to the 8 megapascals which this phenomenon said uh, stress relaxation also you can click by peak and choose any of the these times for example this time read it and click on here on the screen then you can read for example here stresses on the time of 500 uh, also how we are able to extract the creep strain so here uh, you have to choose time history post processor click on add data and here for example choose DOF solution and X component okay choose this node click on OK and now you have a UX on the node number 2 on the node sorry number 299 and if you only push on graph data you can see the uh, displacement versus time diagram as you can see the point that we have chosen uh, here after 1000 seconds uh, has the displacement around 1.5 millimeters so well, it's done but uh, for your information about this code you only uh, for using this code you only uh, have to select all of this data all of these comments and copy it to this comment bar but uh, for your information i am going to tell you some something here uh, et relates to the element type which we already selected this plane 182 and this is the key options of the element uh, that uh, I uh, somehow explained it uh, this part is uh, uh, for the static 
material properties uh, and also this this one is Poisson ratio this one is uh, uh, young modulus and uh, this part uh, is for the creep constant material properties and this part as I said is for modeling and uh, the following is the meshing uh, this is the loading part uh, and uh, until here after loading we start the uh, static analyzers and after static analyzers the creep controller and the creep analyzers starts uh, here until the time 100 maybe it's better to change it to 1000 and then solve this solve is for the creep analyzers solution hope this video be useful for you. See you later. Bye.